So, uh, Boston Dynamics, a subsidiary of Google, has come up with this brand new humanoid robot, Atlas, and the demonstration video is impressive. It can negotiate a snowy slope and it can stand on its own after being pushed and bullied by a human standby. And, uh, you know, the resilience and robustness of its motion is quite impressive. However, I think the real question is what the robot would like to do, I mean, on its own, uh, its volitional structure. It's not very apparent. Uh, at the moment, it seems that the Atlas robot is doing whatever the human experimenter told it to do, and uh, it's excellent in its execution of the designated task, but when the question is when it's left on its own, what would it do? Would it uh, you know, hold a box of 10 pounds, or would it go down a snowy slope, or would it go up the snowy slope? Where would it uh, find itself during the day, during the night, recharging itself, all these lifestyles, so to speak? This is probably the most difficult part of the competition, and uh, in humans, it has a lot to do with personality. Personality is, after all, how we distribute our resources and we might divide time between work and life, between people and, uh, being alone and, you know, people in time and being alone time, all these different uh, budgets of uh, time being spent represents the personality structure of humans and uh, it's quite apparent that the Atlas robot has no computation going on on that aspect. So, and it is the most interesting and most human-like aspect of uh, cognition. So, although the Atlas robot feat is quite impressive, I think it has a lot to go, and uh, mainly in the personality arena. Uh, personality is probably the most difficult part of competition. Uh, but uh, I'm sure clever chaps at Boston Dynamics and Google in general, or the Alphabet company, uh, will be working on that particular aspect of uh, personality computation uh, at this moment, maybe. So maybe we might uh, encounter even more surprises in the years to come. Yeah, stay tuned.